y'all doing? I'm going to talk about uncivilized behavior. I mean, I watched a lot of those videos from Waffle House, okay? Terrible. Okay, Waffle House, Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, okay? And sometimes it's just astounding. Look, it's those blacks. Let's, let me pick on the blacks for a minute. How rude those blacks are hollering and screaming at the clerks and so on. But look, if you buy, why is it that blacks don't understand? If you buy 23 items at Dollar Tree, it's going to be $23 and some cent for tax. Why is it that blacks don't understand that? They're arguing with the clerk over this and that. Ignorant stuff. And you think, you know, when you go into Waffle House, they serve comfort food. So you think you're going over there to relax. Well, what's happening? You got the customer arguing with the, um, the waitress. Ignorant stuff. And then, you got, and then you got the customers arguing with each other. And how about that when you got the, the employees arguing with each other? They're getting out knives and stuff. Just ignorant stuff. I mean... What I would tell them if I was a manager there or something, I would tell them do not engage the, com the customer in conversation because one of y'all need to shut up. So you, as, the, as an employee of, Dollar, of uh, Waffle House, you need to shut up. Do not engage these people in conversation. And in the meantime, I think the manager, whoever the crew leader is that there is, the crew leader should um, call the police. Let the police deal with them. Instead of doing all this fighting and stuff. Y'all look ridiculous fighting. You really do. And you know, when you when you don't say anything, maybe they'll get bored and leave. Okay, but that's what my advice would be. Uh, now see, when I go to these stores, when I go to Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, any of these cheap stores, or Kroger, any food line, any, anything, anywhere, Publix, whatever, I vow not to say anything to people. I vow not to say anything to people. I mean, that's just me. Now, look, just today when I went to Walmart, I was waiting on a cash cashier, and this black woman got in front of me. Now, I could have lost it right then and there because I had been waiting for like 10, 20 minutes. This black lady got in front of me. But I decided not to say anything. I decided just to go to another, another uh, cashier. But see, black people do things like that to provoke you. They really do. They do things like that just to, you know, just to provoke you. What are you going to say if I jump in front of you like this? And you got to use some self-restraint. Do I want to uh, be known? Do I want to be known as a person who uh, fights an old black woman? No, I don't want that. <laughs> okay? I don't want that. But see, black people like to provoke people. They really do at these stores. They like to provoke the cashiers. And, and they know they're being videotaped, so they like to show off and so on and so forth. And I don't even see how they how they can eat at a uh, Waffle House. I think it's sometimes better just to get a carry out myself. I think the the pandemic's making everybody crazy. <laughs> Have a nice day. And this was before the pandemic, okay? So you can imagine what's going on the pan with the pandemic now. And don't mention the argument on on buses, trains, and subways. Ridiculous. Have a nice day.